Hey family, what's going on? And welcome back to Fix That Engineer. Um, guys, I've got four out of five builders available. We're still working on this dark elixir storage. Guys, look at him hammer away. That is good stuff because once that dark elixir storage is maxed out, you're going to see these heroes. They're going to they're gonna level up and it's going to be amazing. Queen, are you ready to level up? She says yes. I don't know if you heard her. So let's go. I've got myself my Barch. Um, kind of making it up into Gold League. Really, really trying to get up into Crystal League. But it's tough. It is tough. My my defenses are too low level. Um, I lose every defense really badly. And honestly, I don't find a lot of bases that I can hit. So let me try to find some good bases. I'm sitting on about 2.3 2, 2 million gold. I need... 3 million or at least 2.5 million. So I'll be fine. We'll be fine. We're going to get what we need to get done done today. But the thing standing between that and now is we need to uh, find a base that's actually hittable. So let me find a base and we're going to barch and chill it. All right, guys, find a base. Acteris is his name, and he has a lot of loot. A lot of loot. That's good loot right there. And the base is fairly low leveled, so I'm thinking I should be able to do at least decent with this base. Um, I've got a um, a wall wrecker, but I I have you know what my troops are in there. The troops that are in there are e drags, um, and I don't want to use electro dragons on. You know what? No, I'm going to use it. <laughs> I was about to say I don't want to use Electro Dragons on offense, but they're fantastic offensive um, uh, an offensive troops. So let's just go ahead and use it. Um, let's go Barbarians on this side, Barbarians on this side. I'm going to send my King in behind, and then let's get my Barbarians in behind the King, behind the Wall Wrecker, and then, oh, one of my favorite things about attacking as a Tunnel 11 with Barch is about to happen. Watch this. Watch this. Ready? I'm waiting on a moment. That... Okay, there you go. Boom, baby! Eternal Tome ability setting off, wrecking everything. Not that it wrecks everything, but it keeps everything alive, but still so cool, guys. Absolutely love it. Um, the highlight of, I think the highlight of video for me was that. I mean, I can quit now, right? <laughs> All right, so King, get in there. Please do some work. That'd be great. Thank you very much. Um, Electro Dragon is still alive. I mean, honestly, this Electro Dragon has got way too much health. The, um, did I never put my queen in? I forgot to put my queen in. That's hilarious. Well, queen, start sniping something for me. What I was going to say was that this base is not strong enough to take down this Electro Dragon. Like, if it was the Electro Dragon by itself, then the base could probably take it out. But because we had so much up in front doing the tanking, um, I, it was easy. It was just super easy. So, Electro Dragon, you did great. Um, I'm going to pop my queen's ability just to get her health regenerated a little bit. And the king will lead the charge. Lead the charge, buddy. Corner hut, you ain't got nothing. Okay, it's actually the archers that are leading the charge, but we need the trophy. So there you go. There is 17 trophies given to us, and that loot is beautiful. Over 400,000 gold. That is that is nice. I like that a lot. Um, all right. So what what does that leave us at? We're still in crystal or in gold league. Um, I, when do I get into crystal league? I, I don't even have a clue. Oh, crystal league's at 2,000. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm only at 1495. Uh, not ideal, but you know it. It is what it is. I did. F ooh, ooh. Let me see if I can find that raid, guys. It was yesterday, I believe, um, that I had an amazing offer. No, that was a few days ago. Okay. Well, I guess. Um, I guess we can just look at a three star. I mean, Barge three stars are cool, and this was a base that I found where I was like, "Hey, that only has one defense." So check it out. This is the worst. This is the worst. Giant bomb in the left. Everything's dead. Giant bomb in the right. Everything is dead. So bad, guys. Giant bomb in the middle. Everything is dead. Oh, man. And I think there's another one in there, too, somewhere. Yeah, it's bad, guys. Yep, there's a fourth giant bomb. Everything goes down. I went ahead and put my warden in there to try to keep things alive. Fortunately for me, there's only one defense on this base. There are some Teslas and there's some heroes. Um, but for the most part... It, that would have been a horrible start to a normal raid. Like, if this was a regular base that has defenses, we would have totally got punked. Like, it was really, really bad. So, fortunate for me, um, this base had the loot. This base did not have the defenses. This base is an engineered base that needs to follow Fix That Engineer, don't it? Yes, yes, it does. Um, so, Barbarian's in there, getting that town all down. Enemy King, by the way, getting wrecked by, now by little archers. There's a lot of archers right there. Can you guys take out the warden? Yeah, that was too easy, dude. That power, there is strength in numbers, right? 
And am I going to three star? Oh, yeah, this is a three star, remember, but it doesn't look like it's going to be a three star. There are not that many troops left. I don't know. I mean, maybe it's all going to fall onto the uh, to the queen to get the three star. That might be how this turns out. Because there's like three archers up there. Okay, there's like six or seven archers up there. Queen pops her ability, and now she's working through the wall. I mean, knowing this guy, there's like a giant bomb sitting right here. It's going to kill my warden here in a minute. But things are looking good. Why did the queen choose to go through like the level 10 wall when there's a level 7 wall next to it? That was kind of dumb. All right, so... um. Oh, yeah, and a thousand dark elixirs sitting in the drill. Very, very nice. Are we going to use it? I don't know. This is only a few hours ago, but I can't remember how this attack went. Um, am I going to end up using the clan castle or am I saving the clan castle? I'm not entirely sure. I did have one of the drills go down to some archers. Now they're trying to bang through a wall. There's an opening over here, archers. Why Why don't you just use the opening? Troops are dumb in this game. Uh, so let's uh, let's go ahead and double up over time this attack here. Get rid of the barracks. Get rid of the spell factory. Get rid of the drill. Get down, drills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there is our three-star once this laboratory goes down. So good try with your engineer, my dude. But you probably should just get your defenses because it was way too easy to three-star you. With likely the weakest strategy in the game, besides like Masked Goblin, Arch. Uh, so there you go. Tons of loot grabbed. It was very nice. And 25 trophies. That's always good too. So um, I've got my Barch. I've got no King. That's that's going to have to be fine again, I guess. And let's try to find another base. Um, earlier I searched for probably like two or three minutes. It wasn't that bad. Um, so let me see if I can find another base that's good. Another base that's got plenty of loot and that we can actually make a dent into it with our Barch. All right, all right. Lots of gold, lots of elixir, very low level defense. I think those are level one, and but no dark elixir. That's kind of sad. That's kind of not ideal. But and I would have loved to have had my king for this one because I can just like send the king and he'll tank everything and then we'll wipe it out. But um, I, it's it's gonna work out. It's gonna be fine. So let's get the king or the little barbarians. Let's take out the corner buildings first, and then let's go. Barbarians first. This is a four-finger deployment, by the way. Get those barbarians in there quickly. Let's go Queen, Warden, now Little Baby Archers. And once everybody is down, I will send or pop my Warden's ability. By the way, did I just see like a giant bomb explode or something? I know the screen was shaking, but it might have been just my fault. I don't know. Um, all right, well, we don't need the Warden's ability just that we're not taking any damage. So I'm going to hold on to it for just a moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Barbarians on the core. This is good stuff. Um, Queen still has her ability to, we're holding on to the Eternal Tome, there's only level 1 Archer Towers on this side, we might not even need this Warden's Eternal Tome, uh, I, I have not seen any giant bombs or anything, that's crazy, that is awesome, that's why, that's why it's so bad to engineer, because if you go offline for just a minute, and you take one defense, then after that your base is completely worthless, like you cannot defend anything and there you go that was free loot basically free gold free elixir nearly four hundred thousand of each that was awesome so the plan for today is actually kind of awesome i really like it so let's pop into my progress base again the last new defense we got is the bomb tower and i really need to get my expo i mean that's kind of like the next big step right but i feel like we've kind of jumped the gun on something okay you don't build your house until you build your foundation. Does that make sense? So we need to make sure that our foundation is set before we start really cranking out these defenses. And we don't need to do a lot. I mean, this base already has like max gold storages and like a max um, clan castle, max spell factory. Almost all of the army camps are maxed as well. So we've made really good progress. But what we are, what I'm talking about mainly is the storages. Um, you've got to have good maxed storages to one, save your loot because it has more health when it's upgraded, which means that it's less likely for somebody to take all of your loot out of your storages. Two, it allows you to use your runes at the most efficient way, which is kind of why I want to do it because I have a gold rune. I want to use it, but I don't want to use it. Or I mean, I can. I can use the gold rune. I just ruined the I just ruined the uh, the punchline. I'm sorry. Um, the, all the gold storages are maxed out, which means we can use the gold rune. But I want to be able to use the elixir rune, which kind of means we need to upgrade all the elixir storages. Do you understand what I'm saying here? So what we're gonna do, and this is gonna be this is gonna be interesting, because I'm gonna upgrade an elixir storage. We're gonna go ahead and use that 2.5 million gold. It's gonna be maxed. Four day upgrade. I'm willing to wait. Um, and then we're gonna do some fun stuff. All right. So let's upgrade the storage in three, two, one, bam. There you go. All right, so it's moving over. Let's just put it with its friend. All right, you guys you guys happy? Yeah, you guys are happy. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to spend the rest of my gold, all of the gold that I have right now. I want to use it on walls. Yes, guys, level one walls are, are horrible. Um, 
300 hit points versus 500. I mean, like my level 12 king or 13 king, whatever level, he has 2,286 hit points. And so this king can sit and take more damage than the walls. That's pretty terrible. So let's upgrade the walls. We can do them all in one big group. It's only 44,000 gold to get them level two. So let's do it to all of the lines right now in three, two, one. Bam! Yes, guys. All of them are now upgraded. How did I do that? Yes, I made a cut in the video and upgraded them all independently. I'm sorry, I tricked you. But yes, now all the walls are level two and we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep pushing and we're gonna get them all to level three. Basically what I'm trying to do here is spend all the gold that I have in my storage. That way whenever I use the rune, I get the most bang from my buck. So let's do it again, except this time I seriously doubt we're gonna be able to upgrade them all. Yeah, no, we're not gonna be able to upgrade very many at all. Let's do, it's 5,000 a piece. So is that too much? Yes, that is too much. What about now if I if I kind of notch that one? Can I upgrade these? Yes, perfect. Nice. So I do have now some level. Oh, come on. Um, I, I do now have some level three walls. We've made some progress. The level two walls have 500 hit points and level three walls have 700. Still terrible, but better than level one, right? So now I'm sitting on like no gold, all right? Do I have any cheap gold upgrades? That the cheapest gold upgrade I have is actually 4,000 gold and I've got 3,732. I can only hit that search button three times. That's pretty dang bad. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the gold rune and fill up our gold storages and get some work done. You guys ready? Let's do it in three, two, one. Bam! And boo, babies! 10 million gold. Oh man, that would take so much time to farm that. I'm so glad we had that rune. Okay, so now let's get the boring stuff out of the way. All right, let's get both of these storages going to max. That way in four days when they're all done, we can use the elixir rune and really get this game started. All right, so let's upgrade this baby in three, two, one, bam. And then of course this one as well, boom. All right, so um, all the elixir storages are now upgrading and I've got a lot of gold and elixir left over, which is always a good thing, right? I've actually got six million elixir. Do I want to spend this six million elixir and start something in the laboratory? Because I can finally upgrade the barbarians. Or do I want to upgrade a building? I'm thinking we go ahead and get the laboratory rolling. The laboratory is the number one priority anytime you're trying to fix a rush or an engineer. Of course, engineers normally have max laboratories. So this is technically a rush. Um, let's upgrade the barbarians to level seven. I believe level seven is max for tunnel 11, but I'll have to do a little research. Actually, it's not that hard to look up. Let's check out Andrew again. And let's, um, let's look at his thing here. Level eight. Okay, you can actually max out your barch at Town Hall 11. All right, I got to keep that in mind. Let's just keep that in mind, all right? Um, okay, well then let's upgrade the Barbarians. This is not going to be the final upgrade for the Barbarians in this Let's Play or this uh, Fix That Engineer, but it is what it is. Barbarians are a great addition to your upgrades. And um, the little Barbarians that come out of the King, whenever you use the King's Barbarian Iron Fist or whatever, they're the same level as the level that they are in the lab. So if I upgrade the Barbarians level seven, all of a sudden the Barbarian Kings, little Barbarians popping out are level seven. And then if we max them to level eight, then the Barbarians coming out of the King's ability are level eight. So this is a super, super, and the same thing with the Queen too. Like the Queen pops out little archers, that the same thing happens with this this upgrade that is in the lab. So let's do this guys. Six million electric seven half day upgrade. So worth it in three, two, one, bam. Nice, and I've actually got a book of fighting here, um, but I don't have the elixir to do another upgrade, so I might as well wait, right? Yeah, I think that makes sense. All right, so barbarians are done. Um, I'm out of the elixir now, so I've got uh, I've got a little bit of gold left. I've actually got ooh, ha, -ha. nice. All right, so let's actually let's actually get another defense. Um, I've got four. I could technically get an inferno tower, but I'm going to get one of the four expos it's three million gold which will leave me with two million left over and that is that's good i actually am happy about that so let's upgrade this um or let's put in this expo guys i think it's like a three-day upgrade or something so let's do this guys in three two one bam okay it's a four and a half day upgrade my bad a lot longer than three days um but now we're sitting on all five builders busy um which is cool because i've been kind of looking forward to using these babies i've got three of these um each one will knock down nine hours of their upgrade time because it's already going to use an hour 
these things make the uh, building time 10 times faster, basically. So it's going to knock out 10 hours off of all these per hour, saving us nine hours. So I'm going to do all three, and then in two, three hours, I'm just going to start doing the little upgrades. Again, just using the builder suggestions and just doing the cheapest ones first. These gold mines are all level four. They need to go to level five. All these archer towers, by the way, are now level two, and all these cannons are level two as well because they were super cheap, easy upgrades. I warned you guys, I told you guys that I was going to do that last episode. So let's use, hold on, let's use these builder potions all three right now that's one that is two and that is three now the builders are going to be chugging right along and it's going to save us a grand total of 27 hours that is amazing stuff and that is all the time or the loot or the builders that i have for today great progress today guys i know seeing like elixir storage upgrades is not that fun i get it uh but it was absolutely necessary because now next episode if my storage is finished by the time i decide to film again we're going to be able to use a rune and we're absolutely going to be able to use a dark elixir rune next time because this dark elixir storage will be done in about two hours I love my builder potions. I wish I had five all the time. <laughs> but guys, that is gonna do it for me today. Thank you. Oh, I gotta put I've gotta put my expo in here. What do I where do I want my expo? Uh can I just put the expo next to the queen over here? Yeah, that'll work. Sweet. I'll probably end up copying the uh Andrew's base from earlier and putting it where it's supposed to be, but for now I'm happy with that that mix and mash of where I want to put stuff. Again, guys, that is it for me. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Hope you're enjoying this series, Fix That Engineer. We've made a lot of progress. The base is looking better and better each and every episode. Again, I hope you liked it. Hit that like button if you did. Hit that subscribe button if you have not done so already for daily gaming videos. And as always, remember that I love each and every one of you. And I will see you all again next time. Uh -huh.